Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and The Incredible Hulk, issue number three. This was an incredible and visceral comic book. I loved it. You want to talk about Hulk versus Cthulhu? Let's go. But first, first, let's talk about who made this comic book as credit, where credit is due. So this issue is called That Old Time Religion, Part 2. Philip Kennedy Johnson, killing it on writer. Nick Klein on art. Matthew Wilson, color artist. VCs Corey Petit on letters. Nick Klein, back at you, doing the cover. Uh, there's a, there are two variant covers that I can see on here, Frank Miller and uh, Alex Sinclair, and another one by Federico Vincenti and Jesus Abertov. Also, let's give credit to Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, who created this big green mother fathead. Anyway, so the Hulk, this issue is basically just a bunch of brutality. There is nothing but butt whoopings and all that good stuff in the foreground. In the background, you got to look for cave drawings, cave art symbology you got to look for things that are going to be laying clues to the future or at least i hope that's what i'm seeing and not just a bunch of stuff that seems to fall into view and focus right anyway the hulk just tears into all these zombies and they don't stand a damn chance in the deep next to the green door they don't stand any kind of a chance whatsoever hulk's walking off this one chick, the, the, the crazy chick who got beat by her daddy and has serious issues at this point, she's like, wait, let me take me with you. Let me go with you. He's like, nah, you're banished, friend. Piss off. And he's just like staring cold hard at her if he even pays attention to her at all. She gets pissed off because he's like, you're weak. You're weak. She's like, help me change like you. He's like, no, you are the epitome of weakness. The look, after this disappointment on her face, after he, he calls her weak, puny, essentially, the look on her face, look, I know we got a She-Hulk right now, but let's all just be realistic, that She-Hulk kind of sucks, right? <laughs> that that She-Hulk kind of sucks, like there's a little too much, like is she a... Uh, a flirty hoe? Is she a lawyer? Is she savage? Like, what is she? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not impressed. You know what I'm saying? I'm just simply not impressed. But I see this one panel image of her. She's got this look of hatred on her face, and she's like, weak? Bro, this has got to be the new She-Hulk. It's got to be. Like, the purple lips... The, the reddish hair, auburn, whatever you want to call this, the green hood around her, right? Her eyes in the shadows. This has got to be the new She-Hulk, and I demand it at this point. Uh, it's something that we were, I think a lot of us were kind of sort of hoping to see in the Immortal Hulk, right? I forget what that one black chick's name was, but who wound up being able to see into the Gamma, yeah, this, this is what I was really hoping to see out of her. Well, if we get it out of this chick instead, I'm good. <laughs> Let's go. This looks amazing. But she's like, F you. She goes into a, a rage, but only what she can afford to do, which is screaming. Well, the deep God from beneath starts uh, humming. Or maybe it's it, whatever it is. It, it looks like it's the song of, of Udru, the, the, the deep one. And this hum, it's just for a moment. You just see the little musical notation going. And all of a sudden, the ground cracks the, beneath her. The, the, the cabin quite literally groans, and the whole thing just falls in. And she, she starts falling into a sinkhole. She screams. <coughs> she's screaming like that. And, she, and she's just falling, and boom, there's just Hulk jumps in to save her. I like the idea... Guys, I love the idea that the Hulk is the problem, but he's not trying to necessarily kill anyone, right? Just wants to be left alone. This is the Hulk that we've come to know and love for all intents and purposes. I like the idea that he jumps in to save her, and while he's doing it, he's calling her stupid. I love that. This is Hulk, who's talking with a little more clarity than we're used to seeing him, right? He's speaking with some intelligence here. But he's calling her stupid, calling someone else stupid. I, I love it. She, because uh, she is stupid, let's just be realistic, but it's like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> so, um, 
<clears throat> what do you call it? He laid, he's just calling her stupid the whole time. And she's like, well, what's going on? It's like, don't care. We're leaving. But as he gets ready to leave, this zombie's hanging from the freaking walls and, and talking and spreading this message and pointing to the cave drawings, the cave art, or the walls. You want to talk about freaking Cthulhu, man. The many-armed one, the many eyes, the many blind eyes. Now, I don't... I, the one thing I don't necessarily like about the comic is that they're giving too much credence to the one above all. Guys, at the end of the day, the one above all is supposed to be Jack Kirby, the one who is creating all of these characters, specifically the Fantastic Four, right? He was doing the bulk of the legwork. Stan Lee was crucial to these stories. Don't ever take anything away from Stan Lee. The, the problem is people like to try and take away from Stan Lee to give to Jack Kirby. No, you simply have to pay attention to all that Jack Kirby's done. All the greatness that Jack Kirby has done. And it, it in some ways it kind of makes what Stan Lee did pale in some ways. But you also have to understand that these two were doing an incredible dance. And a dance by yourself, you know, doesn't really look that great. It looks a little freaky. Breakdancing is cute to watch and all that stuff. But you watch a good tango, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's something different. You know, that's where you're looking at like, wow, this is freaking art, you know? Jack Kirby is supposed to be the one above all. And that's it. That's done. There's no need for any visitation, any any real topics of conversation there. you got plenty of other characters you could talk about, right? But instead, they're going to make it that the one above all isn't above all. Instead, he comes down once in a while to handle business on his own. Instead of leaving things to the demiurge and the the primordial beings, the... the um, what are they called? The, 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 the ancient demons, the demons that preceded and were a thousand times more powerful than Mephisto and, and, and the characters like that, the Zarathoses out there, right? I'm talking like the, he, he didn't just leave it to them. Instead, he comes down and handles things himself. I'm not particularly fond of that idea. I'm not, right? Especially Al Ewing already created the different, the various firmaments and whatnot. Yeah, that, that's kind of a little bit frustrating. It is what it is, though. All right, so the 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 great old ones, right? The, the Cthulhu mythos. So that's that's kind of what this character is. Maybe that's all that we're doing here. We're just making more more uh, primordial gods on here. I guess I don't know, but I don't like that the. The one above all is actually coming down and, and handling these things. It is what it is, though. In the meantime, anything that you don't understand from this point on is going to be explained in the final page. And I dig on that. I really like that. I think that we are seeing some remnants of Atum on here. Most of the time we see these old stories these stories of greater than God beings um, manifesting on the pages of Marvel, we don't usually see those anymore. And when we did, it was mostly in the Thor comic books, right? We, we'd see beginnings of something happening in the Fantastic Four, but if we saw something ending, it was usually Roy Thomas doing stuff in either Thor or Doctor Strange, these, these much greater beings. But I like the idea right now with Philip Kennedy Johnson exploring some of these creatures in a Hulk comic book because the idea of it taking a monster to defeat a monster, I'm okay with that. I really am because what a mess that'll make, right? Think about how Thor would handle some world-ending being showing up. Think about the way Doctor Strange would handle some world-ending being showing up. Now think about the way the Hulk is going to handle it, right? Spider-Man can't. Conan can't. You know what I'm saying? Not not quite on that level. He, he, he could be the pre-ending to something before it becomes something actually big. But something like this, something like the Hulk, this, this is fire fighting fire. This can only be a mess. And I love the idea of it. I'm hoping this turns into what I think it's going to be. And I, and I kind of think it is. Because I don't remember if I said anything in my previous reviews for this new Incredible Hulk series. But I know in my mind I was thinking at some point 
we're going to have to see the swamp thing show up, right? We're going to need to see something with a nexus of realities. We're going to need to see the swamp thing, this creature who can and can't hurt the Hulk. And meanwhile, can and can't be, um, be hurt by the Hulk. And sure enough, the man thing is going to be showing up in the next issue. I am so incredibly down with this. I'm wondering where, where Johnson is going to go with this. I'm wondering where this whole story is going to go. Because there's no way that this is the ending of this particular Udru in this, okay? There's a good fight. This is really fun. You guys are going to enjoy this fight. This is visceral. This is carnal. This is everything you would want from a freaking Hulk comic. But it feels like it ends only for them to give a background on everything, where this thing came from. Because if this thing is truly defeated, then who cares, right? But to me, this is almost like, what if you woke up to a burglar jumping on top of you and punching you in the face, right? Never happened. Never happened to me. But I can only imagine, you know, you wake up, like, how are you going to fight back, right? Like, that, that's pretty much your butt. The best you could do is hope that you can get this guy out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and running away, but you're you're going to be pulp for a while, right? But now imagine you see this guy a week later, you're healed up enough, right? And you see this guy on the streets selling your stuff, selling your wife's stuff, selling your kid's stuff, right? And you see him selling the stuff on the street, and you're just like, oh, and I got the drop on him this time. That's going to be a very different fight. <laughs> so I'm hoping this was just... This, the, you know, this Ujuru character just woke up <laughs> and, 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 and now he's going to see the Hulk walking off and, you know, one of these days and just be like, you know what? Got your ass. You thought you were done with me, didn't you? Kind of looking forward to that. Guys, that's all I got for you. This was an incredibly fun issue. This is, this is that fight that we've been hoping to see since we didn't really see enough of the Hulk, especially in the previous issue, right? We really didn't see enough of the Hulk, and now we've actually got what Johnson's going to be bringing us with the Hulk himself, not just Banner, not just with all these other characters out here. This was really good, and I loved how savage this was. Really looking forward to the future of this comic book. Future's bright with this one, man. Holy crap. Don't forget, I got a Kickstarter starting, is it tomorrow? It's on the 1st. No, there's 31 days this month. Okay, so Friday. So Friday is the day that my Kickstarter starts. It's going to be a book on riddles for the Dungeons & Dragons-esque fantasy setting. More than 300 riddles in it. Guys, come by, check it out. Link below so you can see the preview page on it. That's where everything's going to go live. I look forward to seeing you there. Like the video, watch an ad. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.